Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode of Flea Market Vintage Finds. This time I spend quite a large sum of money for what you see on my desk. And let me tell you what I spent this weekend. I spent 550 lays or the equivalent of 112.19 euros or 116.37 American dollars. And let me tell you what I bought for this kind of money. I'm sorry guys, I will modify the angle of the camera for you to see better. First of all, I've bought this set, this chess set. So here, marble chess set. And um, I simply love those pieces. Just look at this pawn, guys. It's, um, I'm not sure, made out of a type of marble. But what I know for sure is, unfortunately, the white pieces, mostly, most of them are cracked. So, I uh, had to glue them, and after that I applied this. I know that uh, it's not a perfect solution for them. But uh, it is what it is, guys. They are all 32 pieces. So here the white set and here the other set. And by the way, they uh, came in uh, this box. Or this case, this leather case. I believe it's a, a German case from an old um, photographic machine or maybe an old uh, video camera. And because... The white pieces uh, were broken. I negotiated them to 100 lace or approximately 20.40 euros or 21.16 American dollars. Next, guys, I don't uh, usually collect old uh, mobile phones, but this one got my attention because it is in immaculate shape. One of my favorite designs from the 2000s. I believe uh, it appeared in 2003 or 2005. The great Motorola V3. A nice, nice design. And this is in immaculate shape. It contains also the battery inside and the battery is not uh, swollen. So I will find a suitable cable to charge it, to try to charge it. As you can see, no scratches uh, on it. I had to negotiate because the seller wanted lots of money for it. But we reached an agreement of 50 days or 10.20 euros or 10.58 American dollars. But it is a gamble because I don't, I don't, didn't buy it just to look at it. Maybe it is still functional and it will be a plus for me. So a nice Motorola V3 in immaculate shape. And speaking about chess pieces, I found also those pieces of chess. On them, somebody drew or uh, chuck, and I, I think in German it means chess. And uh, it is in this box. It's similar to other pieces. I believe they are Stroton pieces or something like that. Well, made in West Germany somewhere in the 1970s or in the 1980s. And guys, I paid for this uh, only 30 lays or 6.12 euros or 6.35 American dollars. So another nice, nice deal for this piece. Next, I will show you something different. Um, let's say I bought uh, a lot and I, I've made a deal. Probably you can see those wonderful wood horses over here. So this is one of them. It has a little flaw on uh, one of its ears in the sense that it is cracked and it needs to be repaired. But in a wonderful shape. A wood piece but no signatures of the artists that made them. And on this particular one, 
I bought it for 80 lace or 16.32 euros or 16.93 American dollars and this other one which I initially thought it is a female horse but it is a, a young horse and this one has a little bit of a flaw in the sense that it uh, lacks uh, this part of its foot here and uh, I negotiated the price on this one uh, it has another imperfection I believe I don't know on the ear or something like that uh, no only this imperfection here but I don't have the missing piece and I go I negotiated the price on this one and I paid for it 40 lace or 8.16 euros or 8.46 American dollars so a nice price and including in this price of this one I uh, got also the this uh, dices this pair of dices and I love the vintage aspect of them I'm sorry about the lighting guys but the sun is um, fading away uh, look at those beautiful dices but I also bought from the same seller and I bought them all as a lot I bought this hand this lady hand made out of wood and you can see it's a great way to store uh, my uh, lady jewelry from my collection I mostly have uh, silver sterling silver pieces and this hand lady's hand made out of wood cost me let me show you like this in this lighting I hope you can see so this lady's hand cost me around 30 lace or 6.12 euros or 6.35 American dollars let me put this aside and I found also an interesting interesting inkwell and I'm not so sure you can see in this lighting but it developed in time this patina and uh, the seller wanted uh, me to have this uh, free but uh, I paid uh, him uh, two lace or 0 0.41 euros or 0 0.42 American dollars um, in my opinion when you see a beautiful beautiful product even though the seller wants to give this as a present you should uh, give him some money for it it's just uh, a way of doing uh, business in my point of view and I love this wonderful wonderful piece definitely made uh, before 1990s maybe in communist Romania no engravings on it uh, but uh, it is a lovely lovely piece that has a great great patina and from the same seller I bought this guys so I don't know maybe he cleared an old laboratory chemical laboratory and I'm not so sure what this uh, was used for I will certainly store some ink here and I will use it as a desk stand and I will dip my pens here I don't know maybe the ink will evaporate in time so I need to get a little uh, closure to this and maybe a corkscrew or something like that and the interesting this is was made in Romania in communist days in Bucharest in the capital of Romania EMD I don't know what it stands for but it is a beautiful beautiful wooden stand and uh, what is wonderful is the price and the fact that I repurposed it being an inkwell in my point of view only 20 lace or 4.08 euros or 4.25 American dollars let me place this here and from the same seller I'm sorry I will take the horses and I will try to put them right over here in front of the camera let's see if I have space yes and i will try to take also those because i also bought this stand and it is an unusual stand when i looked at it i first thought it was a um, chair for those persons that used to shine your um, those persons shoe shiners um, and i thought that this was a kit for a shoe shiner 
but it is not it is all made out of wood very strong wood and i don't know if you see but here i are some rails here and also back here and i think that this was used to store different uh, types of um, chemicals in this position and it has also a glass here and this is an inventory number and interesting made by the same company in bucharest emd i hope you can see let me zoom on it i'm sorry about the lighting guys emd bucharest and guys i paid for this well the seller wanted initially 50 lace but as i bought other items from him i said look i will give you 40 lace because uh, i've saw i've seen it also last week at the free market and he did not sell it so when you see something like this you have to negotiate and he agrees so 40 lace guys cost me this of course i will probably repurpose it and i will transform it in a uh, presentation stand for my pants on one side some of them and on the other side the others i have to build some uh, glass um, windows here one here and one on the back and i think it will be a great great display case and guys so for this 40 lace or 8.16 euros or 8.46 american dollars and of course guys there was an entrance fee to the flea market of three lace or 0 0.61 euros or 0 0.63 american dollars and guys i was fortunate enough to find also this ruler and it's not uh, it's that type of calculus ruler i don't know yes i will show you and it is from faber castell you can see here castell faber castell and from that seller i also bought this like a notepad a great notepad you can see quite quite large and i paid for both of them a decent price I, those cost me only five lace or 1.02 euros or 1.06 american dollars and i left for the last um, i don't know those will be controversial and uh, i must tell you i usually don't buy them but i thought to myself that i found them at a great great price and i had to have them again guys i'm not into those kinds of um, uh, so th those are furs, but believe me, uh, there are no new furs, so no demand for uh, those type of, um, let's say, clothes. I'm uh, not um, in favor of um, collecting the furs from uh, wild animals and encage them uh, uh, and uh, do them harm but this is believe me a piece of a collection i don't collect it but i have friends that uh, might find this quite appealing for their uh, collection and again i found this box and i hope you can see it so it, we have in romania Întreprinderea de blănărie vidrea orăștie it translates to fur um, factory vidra vidra translates to otter uh, orastia is the name of the town and favior i'm not so sure what they are made of so we are talking about two hats two lady hats they are decent sized and i will show them to you uh, let me open the box and uh, let's see right here i've opened the box i will put the box down guys and i will show you someone already offered me quite a large sum of money just for the box it wasn't interested in uh, those and those are the hats they are made out of i'm not so sure 
what kind of animal but again the price was reasonable and again it's not uh, too often that i see on flea markets those types of uh, let's say of clothes in those state and the price was 150 lace or the equivalent of 30.60 euros or 31.74 american dollars well i don't usually buy those stuff uh, but um, why not i thought to myself that those were at a decent price probably made in the 1970s or in the 1980s communist romania and intended for the export market i've already shared with you the fact that uh, the communist regime needed hard currency and uh, one way to uh, obtain that currency is to export some luxury merchandise. I'm not so sure. Um, nowadays, there is a demand for something like that. This is a barbaric product and I, I'm not endorsing it in any way. I just bought it as an old, old stuff. Certainly, if I... Um, and if you knew the provenance of uh, those types, and especially in communist Romania, I believe they made uh, uh, terrific, terrific uh, things to those animals. In Romania, communist Romania, the rights of the peoples were uh, limited. Well, think about the poor lives of those animals. It was a controversial issue and I did not know if I should include this in my vintage flea market finds. But I'm not an hypocrite. I, I bought those and I hope you won't judge me. I did not buy them to resell them. Maybe I will give them as gifts, but not to many of my female friends wear uh, those type of clothes. Thank God that we are living different times and um, we should not hurt the animals and uh, nature because sooner or later they will have their revenge, believe me guys. So those, this is my latest flea market finds. I'm sorry, let's put the horses back, let's hide this uh, box and uh, look at the wonderful horses and look at this wonderful phone in my point of view i think i've done a great great uh, deal uh, indeed i spent around uh, 115 euros or 115 american dollars so not pocket change but uh, i think i bought lots lots of interesting stuff what do you think guys tell me in the comments I will see you again in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little uh, presentation of my latest uh, little treasures from the flea market. I will see you again in the next episode. Till then, bye bye my friends and God bless you all.